Let us revise what fraction, numerator and denominator is. We compare fractions to help us to know which fraction is larger, smaller or equal to. In fractions, the first thing that we can use to compare the fraction is to use the models or drawings. So here we are using a rectangle but you should first make sure that the model or the drawing is of same size. So let us take the example 3 fourth and 2 fourth. We will try to compare these two fractions. Looking at the model you can see easily tell that this fraction is larger fraction. But another way is that we can compare these two fraction by noting the denominators. So what do we do when the denominators are same? We look for the numerator which is bigger. In this case 3 is bigger than 2. So 3 fourths is greater than 2 fourths. Okay. So we put a sign that 3 fourths is greater than 2 fourths. When denominators are same, we look for the numerator. The numerator which is bigger will make a larger fraction. Let us look another example. Here you can see we have two fractions 4 sixths and 4 fifths. Now we have to compare these two fractions. By looking at the model we can see that this is greater than this fraction. What is the another way? Here you would notice that the numerators are same. Both are 4. Okay. So we would look the denominators. When the numerators are same, we look for the denominator which is smaller. What would that mean? If the denominator is smaller, that is it is divided into fewer pieces. In this case, six, 5 is smaller than 6. So, this means that this is divided in 5 pieces and this is divided in 6 pieces. So, 5 pieces is fewer than 6 pieces. The smaller the denominator, the greater the fraction. This would mean 4 by 6 is less than 4 by 5. Take this as suppose I have two pizzas. I have divided one pizza into 5 pieces and another into 6 pieces. And if I take 4 out of that both the pizzas which would be greater? which would be bigger this okay i'll try to make it equal parts so 1 2 3 4 5 if i take out 4 by 5 if i take out four pieces for myself and another pizza four pieces out of it so which is bigger this isn't it what fraction is this four by five and this was four by six 4 by 5 is bigger than, greater than 4 by 6. Okay. Let us take another example. So for this, when the numerators are same, we check 
the denominators whichever denominator is smaller that is the bigger fraction third third example let's see here we have we have this one divided in 9 equal parts and same here 9 equal parts and we have fractions 5 ninth and 7 ninth so if I look this I can easily tell that this is bigger than this the another way is here again like the first one the denominators are same what do we do now if the denominators are same we check for the numerators whichever numerator is bigger that fraction is greater so here 7 is bigger than 5 so this fraction is greater so what does this mean 5 by 9 this is larger so this is less than 5 by 9 is less than 7 by 9 we can write in words also okay when denominators are same we check the numerators whatever is bigger makes the bigger fraction that is greater fraction let's take another example here you can see that numerators are equal so again if uh, numerators are same we check the denominators and whichever is smaller will make a bigger fraction so here 6 is less than 8 so this will form a bigger fraction so how do we write now 5 8 is less than because this is bigger fraction this is less than 5 8 is less than 5 sixth got it so for numerators which are same we check the smaller denominator smaller the denominator greater the fraction now let's take another example now here we have a whole which is divided in four equal parts out of this two are shaded in this whole you can see that it is divided in two equal parts and one is shaded so when we try to compare this so two fourth this fraction and this fraction one upon two and if we see these two models drawings we can say that two parts of this whole and one part of this whole makes a half isn't it it's a half of a circle so here they are equal this this is larger fraction than this and another way to find out is so here this is 3 fourths and this is 5 sixths so to compare this here we see that both the denominators are different also the numerators are different so this one is a bit tricky to compare what do we do for these kind of fractions what we do is this fraction can be compared by changing the denominator to a common number this can be done by multiplying top and bottom number of both the fractions with a number to make the denominators same and we know that 12 is the common number for both of them so to make this 
12 I multiply by 3 and if I do that I multiply the numerator with 3 as well 12 3 3 is a 9 5 by 6 to make this 12 I will multiply by 2 so I multiply by 2 on the top also this gives 10 by 12 so now we have these fractions which are equivalent so 9 by 12 and 10 by 12 now we can compare it easily so now you can see both the denominators are same if both the denominators are same we check the numerator whichever numerator is bigger forms the largest fraction so 9 and 10 10 is bigger so this is larger fraction so that means if this is big so this is less 9 by 12 is less than 10 by 12 let's review the rules 